our lives. So. All right, Shalom, Shalom. First wow. and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of your millstone. Salutations to you, brothers, around the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity. So, we're, I'm here with the brothers, and, uh, you know, we were strolling, and, you know, we decided to do, you know, a lesson, you know, out here. You know, because the times that we're seeing, the things that we're seeing, uh, according to prophecy, all right, it all points at what? The end of this society, which is Esau's system that has been set up. All right, Revelation uh, 6 chapter, when it says he comes as uh, it's a red horse, mm -hmm. he came to take peace from the earth. That's his whole system on this earth that has been destroying and oppressing the earth in itself and the people and the Lord's people. You see, but now we're coming to the end of wickedness, which is through his system and into the beginning of righteousness. Yeah. Is, uh, which is into the kingdom of Yahweh, the kingdom of heaven for the Israelites. Right. Uh, you know, as it's entitled, it's also the end. Uh, that it said that he was given a great sword. Right. Now, that 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 stands for all his uh, his, his his military might and all, all his, uh, his 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 issues of death that the Lord has given him. But we know the greatest one is what that instrument is going to be used to destroy America, which is the, the nukes. That's the great. That's his greatest sword, man. Right? You know, and it was fashioned uh, for this time. I got this preset. This is uh, Revelation chapter 6, verse uh, 3. It says, And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. That's the great sword that the, uh, the brother's talking about, man. All right, that's how Esau has uh, came into dominion and power is through that sword, and that was his blessing. It goes back to the Book of Genesis, man. So this society we've been living in, you know, the society we've been living in is really Rome. I believe a brother went into that. You can see, even the people are starting to say that this oh, is just yeah. nothing but Rome. It's Rome all over again. Because yeah. like, check it. Um, when you get into let's just say a medical field, really any field where you have to get a PhD, you have to know Latin, okay? Right. It could be, a, like I said, a, the medical field. A, you, e, even like um, as a musician, right? I'm saying like if you uh, get in, you know, you're a composer and all that stuff, you, you know, you, uh, uh, you're in the orchestra, you gotta uh, know those Latin terms in order to play the music, okay? You know, th th those are just two things, okay? All right, that's why um, on Yahweh Shai's, uh, that planning for him, all right, when he uh, sacrificed himself, it was, it was, his, it was uh, scripture written in Latin. That was one of the late languages on there. And then who was ruling at that time? The Romans. So this is nothing but the, the, the Roman Empire. That last uh, leg of the beast system. All right. And now it's coming to an end. You see? Yeah. Yeah. The no, that was it. I got it. You guys can say something. I was uh, saying uh, the Alma Mater. I was just thinking about that term. That Latin term where uh, basically you basically graduated from, from a, a prestige college, man. You know? Right. He, uh, did all his... His higher, uh, higher up levels of of uh, getting from point A to point B to, to live uh, in the upper echelon in society, to live it up in, in, in a good area, you have to basically be a part of his system. Like yeah. you, you have to be a Roman. You know, right. they, they they literally take that that old phrase where in Rome yeah. uh, do as the Romans do. Esau pushes that pushes that on us, man. You know, so much that he doesn't want our ways to, to, to come about, man. Like, uh, I was just talking about it with my wife, uh, probably yesterday, because I talk about it all the time. Yeah, I was, because it was just fucking, uh, this one cute dog who came into my store, and, you know, it, it's my job to kind of uh, create a friendly environment, so you say, hey, and, you know, you speak to you, you, uh, you speak to the people, but this nigga kind of turned his nose up, like, dude, you did some disgusting shit to be a part of Esau society, to have that money and the things that you had. Don't you turn your nose up at somebody because they don't have the things they ain't about to go to the shit that you went through. Yeah, right. they gave their soul already. You gave your soul, nigga. You said, what? Will a man uh, gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Yeah. So you didn't already lost it with the Lord. You already dealing with you, nigga. So turn your nose, the Lord turned his nose up at you. You know? But this is all coming, all this shit our people's bugged out is all coming to an end. The end of this, the, the end of Esau's system. Man. I was gonna say, see, our people, they believe that gain is godliness, man. Okay? They really feel that since they got money, even if they had to do these, you know, vile acts, 
that they're better than you because they oh well look I, I have myself you know a uh, beautiful woman right uh, I got the nice townhouse in High Park okay I got the home out there you know in uh, 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 you know in the suburbs okay you know I, I, I got the you know the Porsche right I got the BMW I got the Tesla I, hey look at me man what do you got so they, they really believe that they're gaining this godliness you know Hey, but look, man, see, the Lord doesn't care about that, man. He cares about, all right, you know, uh, those righteous acts that, that you, you have done. Right. Not the wicked ones. Okay? Shit, uh, oh, sorry. You got something to say? My, my goddamn brother, uh, you know, uh, from another mother, <laughs> but we actually share the same father. He's into that shit, man. You know, he's he's in a in a prat, and, and he went to tell all that, man. He actually scoffed the truth, man. He said something that the Lord is actually going to destroy his ass for. He, if the Lord had talked like that, I see why they killed him. Well, I see why the Lord's gonna kill you, man. You know, because these people that you, you put, you put this shit before the Lord, like like the scriptures about to say. This is First Timothy six and four. It says he is proud. Ooh. So that's when you first fucked up at, man. You thought that you was better than your Howard shot, knowing nothing, but yeah. doting about. It's like they know nothing. Our people don't know. Um, they don't have any knowledge of the Lord. That's why the Lord has a controversy with a, a, a Zion, man. When you read in, um, what is that, Hosea the fourth chapter, it says, what, there's no knowledge in the land or truth? Lord hates it. That's first and foremost, okay? Then in general, like, you Jakes are just idiots, man. You don't know what the hell is going on. You're just going with the flow. Hey, whatever Esau tells you you know what to do, you're like, well, cool. It sounds, you know, good. I can get a good reward. I get some, you know, some treats, some candy, you know. I get some toys with it. Awesome. Sounds like a good deal. Even Kanye said that, man. You know what he say that it, meal. yeah, you know. She came with a few toys and a happy meal. Yep, you know. All right. You see, that's Jake though, man. They're simple, hey man. Hey, Jake's a real simple, you know, group of people. But see, the Lord, He's going to destroy our people for what? The, the, because they have lack of knowledge. Was that Hosea four and six? Yep. Hey, you're destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Okay. See, look, our our power is a, a power of knowledge, man. Not simplicity. Yes, it is simple to a degree. You know what I mean. But 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 uh, for for lack of words, our, our power is not simple. We're not. When I say simple, I mean like foolish, stupid, man. Okay, that's what I mean by that. So you can understand. All right. Any more today? Yeah, yeah. It says um, still in verse four. He is proud, knowing nothing but doting about questions and strifes of words. Whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil surmises, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds, and destitute of the truth. Supposing that yeah, game... they're destitute of the truth, man. They don't got it. And then what? What do our people do, man? They're constantly, you know, looking for the truth. That's why they're in all these organizations out here. It don't matter if it's the hey, a Greek fraternity. It doesn't matter if the, it's the Roman Catholic Church, the Baptist Church. Okay, Scientology. Whatever you know, you know, being in the alphabet, you know, gang. All right, they're they're trying to find the truth, man. But when you do bring them the truth, well, what happens? Yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> they they speak evil of the truth. They close their ears. You know, they walk away, like, like they did. You know, uh, see us. So that's why the Lord's gonna punish the simple man for walking away. Yeah. The Lord's gonna deal with you, Jakes, man. Lord does that for correction so that you understand the way that you should be choosing, man. You know? He'll 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 chastise you, maybe he ain't destroyed you yet, but then he'll destroy another Jake for doing certain things so that you know what not to do. And then you know you'll have guys in the world that are continuing those things and then they end up getting destroyed. Well now the Lord's he, he's sick and tired of just whooping y'all ass. He's about to just fuck y'all up in, entirely, man. You know? Uh but I'm gonna finish this off. It says in verse four, I mean so like in verse five. Perverse disputes of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth, which is what to follow your how about Shimei was shot to follow these laws, man, to to actually be a fair and a just man, not only to uh, to, to 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 have mercy, but also to 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 condemn wickedness, man, within yourself first and foremost, and then what you see around you, man, and what these people do not do, man. All right, and it says supposing that gain is godliness. And we know that, hey, who, who's the rich people in this world? The wicked. Starting with Esau, Edom, so-called white man, 
then it's the black woman, and then it's the moles, man. And whatever uh, wicked con artist is out there, man. Just like, you know, you watch that movie, uh, uh, Malcolm X, uh, <laughs> the first thing he said, you ain't, hey, man, you, you ain't hip. Everybody on the outside is cons. And that's the truth. Everybody in this world is, is, is created to be uh, a, a con artist, meaning they're just trying to get over on somebody being a snake because they're trying to be like their father, the devil, man. You know, they, they'll go, go and do the most odious works because who does that behind closed doors and he's trying to make it a norm? The devil. You know? The same things they was talking about uh, that they did in the, in the ancient world, uh, slaying children, you know, murderers, you know? They're pushing it because they, they push that job, you know, that in those injections, that's that's murder. Everybody knows that's just killing people, man. And then you want to also justify this this Wade versus Roe shit, man. And then who's in who's who's the main ones in, in, in front of that? The so-called black women in these fucking modes that can't even fucking have kids. Right. But it, that's that that's that um and that's the we were talking about that earlier too. That's that goes along with the wickedness of this of Esau society, man. Just complete lawlessness, man. <laughs> you know, so that's why we're in the end of it, man. Oh, I got something for you. We're in the end of this shit, man. Yeah, that's how you know we're at the end, cause all all this wickedness is getting pushed to the forefront, and basically, if you're against it, you're ostrac uh, ostracized, okay? Hey, you, you know, you you you're looked down upon, you yep. know? Hey, well, what does it say? Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Yeah. Everything's all flipped around in this society, but I got something for you, Ramaki. This is a uh, second Ezra's 15. I'm gonna start at five main points and six though. Second Ezra's 15 and five. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth and the hurtful works are fulfilled. So this is why the Lord is increasing, you know, uh, the judgment, man, out here. And it's only going to get, uh, 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 I'll say the, 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 the judgment's going to keep increasing because the wickedness is going to keep increasing. And this is why we know we're at the end of what? The B system. All right. Jake's that are, you know, tied onto this place. Because uh, let me get this real quick. Because all you Israelites that are attached onto the system, you're going to be thrust through, man. You're going to die with this place, man. All right. You, you want to be, you know, buddy, buddy with Esau. So you're going to get that death, man. Okay. You're going to die with your buddy. This is Isaiah. 13, what is that, four, six, six, this is Isaiah 13 and 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. So you Jakes that want to, you know, walk hand in hand with Esau and the B system, you're going to die, man. You're going to die. Simple as that. All right? And see, look, you got you, you to gotta know and remember that the Lord, he's about to take down this kingdom, man. Hey, this is the last part of, of that statue that uh, um, I spoken about in, in Daniel. Okay, the, you brought it out, I believe. You said it. This is the part with the uh, uh, we're at the part with the ten toes. All right, with the was it the uh, the miry clay? Yeah. Okay. Hey, the, the, this statue's falling down, man, right. and it's not getting back up. Look, what was it? I, I fall and I can't get up. You know, AARP. You know, commercial. You, you got no toes. You can't You're walk, through. nigga. <laughs> You know, we're at the end of this shit, man. Okay? We're at the end of it. Because the Lord, he's, hey, look, everything has its set time, man. Every, what is it, a point in time? A point in time. You know? Ecclesiastes is the time and place for yep. everything. Exactly. This is the time, this is the end of this place, man. Exactly. Hey, this is what? Can I, slide, can I get this real quick? And that's uh, Second Ezra 6. We're at the what? The end of Esau's world, man. This is Second Ezra chapter 6, and I'll start at 7. Then answered I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. You see, we're at the end of Esau's world. Okay? Now his world is still here. This is his time. But it, it's about to hit that expiration date very soon. And then Jacob's time is about to come, which is they what? The time of the Israelites. Starting first and foremost with whom? Yahweh Shai. And then they then it goes the you know the, the you know King David, the, which is uh, uh, the apostle Peter, okay? The rest of uh, the apostles, you know, the, uh, the you know that were um you know that were there during that time period, and then you know the rest of the elect. 
all right, the one third, and then the you know ultimately the nation, uh, the nation of Israel as a whole. Okay, you see. Right. I got this is uh, Genesis twenty-seven and thirty-five, thirty-four. It says, and when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a great and exceeding mm. bitter cry, and said unto his father, Bless me, even me also, O my father. And he said, Thy brother came with subtlety and had taken away thy blessing. That was us. That was Jacob. That's why niggas like to say, oh, he stole the blessing. It was all ordained. This whole movie is ordained. It's written. Everybody has a role in a movie. You don't go to the movies and dude that's supposed to be playing on this role. He don't play another role. He plays his role. Because why? The producer wrote him into that role. That's it. They know I'm going to do my own thing. You know? So, Jacob, through uh, his mother, they got the blessing. It was all through the spirit. Yeah, and then even okay. before that, before the, the, the earth was created and all that, it was already ordained in the spirit. And then secondly, bef uh, before he, you know, stole, yeah. you know, the birthright or uh, the, the blessing, Esau already sold his birthright, which if you're selling your birthright, that means you're basically selling your blessing. Hey, uh, aside so that, he didn't technically steal it anyways, man. And, and what was uh, before all that, before they were even born, and, and uh, Romans actually goes into that point. Oh, yeah, 13. And, and, 9. Was yep. it 13? It, it, yeah, 9 and 13. Yeah, it goes into it, and it explains what happened in the beginning of, uh, what is that, like um, Genesis 25 and like 22 or something like that. It goes and it explains it a little bit further that that's what it already happened. That the, the Lord had already told Rebecca that the elders should serve the young. Perfect. Right. That was that. That's the that, that, that's the birthright right there. That, that, that he was gonna be stronger, cause the Lord is gonna be dealing with him. Cause hey, if, if if the Lord was dealing with Esau, he would have been stronger, but he wasn't. And he would and we would been serving him. Now we only serve him because we fucked up. But this is only temporal, all right. But it, it, the, the Lord had already explained to Rebecca what was gonna happen. So that means that the Lord had it set up from the beginning that we were going to receive this birthright. Because right. it was ours to receive. This is what was going to happen in the book of Genesis. Had uh, Adam had kept the covenant, man. That's right. This is, uh, no, I'm going to go back in this. It's uh, Genesis 27 and 36. It says, and he said, it is not, it's not he Speak rightly. Speak up to a little bit. Kind of. As he said, is not he rightly named Jacob? For he hath supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright, and behold, now he hath taken away my blessing. And he said, Hast thou not reserved a blessing for me? We're li See, and that's the thing. We're living in the blessing that I'm about to read here. We're living in that right now. Yep. We're living in the end of it, actually. All right? So this rulership, this is why that whole, this whole back and forth between so-called blacks and Latinos and minorities and versus the white man has been going on so long, man. Because it's really the Edomites, all right, against Jacob, the Ooh. Israelites, man. This is all, all this whole or reality we live in is all ordained from the beginning. Can I, and it goes back to a blessing. Can, can I, I get a fast one for you, Ak? This is Sirach 33. And I'm going to start at 10 main points and 14. I'm going to go through it a little quick, though. This is uh, Sirach 33 and 10. And all men are from the ground, and Adam was created of earth. And much knowledge the Lord had divided them and made their ways diverse. And this is talking about how the Lord made different nations, okay? Verse 12. Some of them hath he blessed and exalted, and some of them hath he sanctified and set near himself. And this in particular talking about the Israelites. Right, right. Okay? And it says here, But some of them hath he cursed and brought low and turned out of their places. And this is going into the Edomites, man. They're that cursed nation. What does it say in that Isaiah? These are the cursed people of the Lord, roughly yeah. paraphrasing it. All right? Talking about uh, uh, Esau, the Idumians. I think it's, uh, it says it in uh, the Isaiah. Yeah, you know? the Isaiah 34, I can yep. that. Yeah. You know? The my curse. Yep. Yeah. And it says, And the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it as he pleasure. Fashion it at his pleasure. So man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them as liking him best. So the Lord, he, he made uh, um, all the nations the way he wanted it uh, to be, okay? All right? And you got what? You got the good guys, and then you got the bad guys. Like a movie. Yes, sir. It's the Lord's movie. <laughs> verse, four, verse 14. Good is set against evil. So a good versus evil. Jacob versus Esau, man. All right? And life against death, which I, I've been saying this for years. Hey, hey, Jacob promotes life. Esau promotes death. All right. Okay? 
Simple as that. That's so why, that's why the earth is like it is. Oh yeah, that's see who the, you see. Look at the earth, and now you can see who's up. ruling the earth. It's like it's like a video game, man. It's like a video game with two opposite uh, opponents. Right. Yeah, Howard Shai's, uh, uh he's 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 playing uh, the Jake characters, and and and, and, and Satan. He's messing with uh, two thirds, and he's messing with Esau. But his main character, his main vessel, is his top player. He's, everybody always got that one player they always select that they gotta get. <laughs> And, and, and Satan goes for Esau. That's his favorite character, man. Yeah. It says, uh, so is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. So look upon all the works of the Most High. And there are two and two, one against another. So going back to what the brother Ramakia said, hey, that's why there's so much friction between, you know, the so-called white man and, and, and the so-called minorities, you know, blacks, Hispanics, and natives, man. All right? Because ultimately it's what? Jacob against Esau, man. Simple as that. Good versus evil. That's right. This yep. is the Lord's movie, man. One against, one against another, man. All right? <laughs> Two types. I got that Isaiah 34 real quick. This oh, God, God. Isaiah 34 and 5, because you quoted it. It says, For my soul shall be bathed in heaven, meaning it's about to bring down this man's kingdom. Yep. You know, the, 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 his dominion. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia, which we know that that's. Oh, you got it, Oxlade. Yeah. That's 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 Edom. That, that's uh, the Greek way of saying Edom. You know, although it's translated that way, that means Esau. And it says, and upon the people of my curse to judgment. So now we know that uh, that, that these people are a cursed people. Yes, sir. But how are they cursed? You know, they uh, we go into their skin and their features, but they're cursed on a many different levels. You know, that that, that just shows that they that they are the man of sin. Because to look like that, that's a, that's a show that you've been fucked up against the Most High, just like how it happened with Miriam, man. Yeah, what, what, what did they say? Uh, uh, what did, it was Aaron. Aaron said, lay not this sin upon us. Because it's a sin to fucking look like that, man. To have all your fucking pigment stripped, man. Right. Imagine, imagine if Esau still had the same color as everybody. The Lord did that so you could know that these people are fucking wicked, man. He was already that okay. weird nigga in the garden, yeah, bro. He was, was a that, dark, he was that weird nigga, bro. <laughs> dark, weird, wicked nigga. <laughs> like that chocolate chair that always comes right, around, right, bro. Right. That weird ass <laughs> So the Lord this put that bark on his ass like, I mean, yeah, with the... He, he, he could be Jake. That's what I'm saying. It's like, nah, he's Jake. Yeah, man. <laughs> Shit. Imagine that dark, wicked-ass, weird nigga. That was Esau. So the Lord, you know, he made it, it made him known now. We know who they are, man. They cursed, man. Because look at their deeds. All right? Look at the earth. Job 9 to 24. Yep. Milk scripture, but what? That's... That may, that'll let you know everything. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. They're on all the money. Yeah. All right, their system is set up on the earth. This peace system, yeah. them back and forth between America and the EU and NATO, that's that that same Roman system coming back. Amen. Man. And we at the end of it. And the Lord That's Rome. The Lord cursed it from the beginning because it says, shit, if you can get it real quick in, in, in the Genesis where it says, upon thy, thy belly shalt thou crawl, this man is cursed to be in the flesh. His blessing is, is, is death. His blessing is death, man. That's why his sword is death. We have a sword of truth and righteousness and life, yep. eternity. This man has a, a, a sword of the flesh. Upon his belly shall he crawl after his desires. You know, and the dust that he's eating up is confusion. Every, it even says the Lord mingled a perverse spirit in this yep. man. So wherever way he goes, it's just stupid shit after stupid shit, and it just brings down his kingdom. What does it say? Uh, the knowledge of, uh, of wickedness is, is not wisdom. Because he saw. He's got some wit, some some knowledge, man. You know, but it's a uh, of wickedness. Yeah. Right. You know. To the morning chair, the Lord showed him everything on, through that through that looking glass on the left hand side, man. He his technology comes from the left hand side, man. What has he done with it? You know, although it, it's it, it's it's weak, he hasn't really done anything to benefit the earth, man. It's all been to forward his wicked ass agenda, man, which is gonna be the end of him. That's right. Oh, I got that scripture. Uh, Genesis 3 and 14 it says and the Lord uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahusha said unto the serpent because thou hast done this thou art cursed above all cattle yeah and that's and going into the people alright that cattle is just because uh, um, sometimes the, the Lord refers to people as uh, like a type of animal right you know because it, it refers to uh, Jake as what sheep yeah. you know that's why it says what the, the, the lost sheep of the house of Israel all right, so that's all I mean. So he's the, 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 let's read that one more time. Okay, Genesis chapter 3, verse 14. And the Lord said unto, unto the serpent, 
because thou hast done this, mm -hmm. thou art cursed above all cattle. So you're cursed above everybody else, man. All right. That's why, um, even because uh, that's why I was gonna say I forgot to uh, add that in there. Even uh, Esau's name, man, it's a uh, uh, means wasted the way is he, man. And then what does it say in that book of uh, I think is it Malachi? It talks about how um, his heritage is um, laid the waste. Right. Yep. It's an omen, omen, man. Not only is his pigmentation's gone, okay, but his, his heritage is going to be destroyed, man, at some point. Right, All right? He, he's the only nation that's going to be exterminated. The worst judgment ever. A whole race of people is literally going to be wiped out of the earth at some point, you know? You listen to that vocab? You listen to that vocab? Remember <laughs> what the Zondervan says, man. And the Zondervan was on point when it said that the only nation that is written in the scriptures that was not promised any mercy from Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai, the God of Israel. You can, yeah, when you read the scriptures, whenever it comes to talk about Esau, it's always bad. Every, you see it in the New Testament, or in the Old Testament, whether it's in the New Testament, it's bad. It's apocrypha, it don't matter. So, yeah, whatever you it's read matter. about him in any of the books, it's bad. What the fuck nope. he, do you not... Hey, that's because Because he's an Edomite yeah, yeah. I've been saying it for years, man That dude's an Amalekite, bro That's my personal opinion, man I, I, I've been saying that I remember when he came to Chicago It hit me, bro I was like, this dude's yeah, an Amalekite, yeah, bro And I remember I told Elder Malcolm And when I told it to Elder Malcolm He's like It like clicked with him, too He's like He's an Amalekite That dude that he He's the top uh, 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 The top Edomite, bro He really wants to be He wants this Yep, he, that's why even it's spiritual. That's why our brothers, starting with the apostles, call him whom? Haman, man. Which he uh, goes back to whom? Uh, 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 Amalekite. Yep. All right? Yeah, Agag, yeah. you know, when you do the history, when you, uh, you got to, you know, know the history. That, that damn dude is a goddamn Amalekite, man. And we know that the, the Lord, he, he's, got, um, he's got hatred, all right? That indignation with, with uh, Amalek. They're, they're going to be warring with these. The Lord's going to war with him, what, from generation, generation. to generation? And this is one of the, another generation. This is this another generation that the Lord is about to war with Amalek. Because Amalek is what? They're the top bankers. I think Apostle, Apostle Gabar just did a lesson. All right? A lot of the uh, those elite banking families, they said it was an old 1950s video the, the Elder played. I got to go back and watch it. And uh, you know how they have that voice on the radio? 1950s. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it was that. They were talking to like, and they were saying those banking families are all Jewish or Jewish uh, yeah. uh, background, yeah. heritage. That's not the real Jews. So that's Amalek, man. And we're the end, of, and the Lord's about to have another war with Amalek, man. Yeah. The final war, man, so to speak, man. <laughs> You know? Because you got to get rid of their generation. That's what I mean. It's generation to generation, so you obliterate them. Yeah, because they're, they're going to keep trying to, you know, slid the way, you know, out of judgment. They're going to try to do something wicked. Esau's just wicked, man. But, hey, can you keep reading that? Though? I think it was more in that Genesis, right? Uh, yeah, not. a little bit more. It said, um, Genesis 3 and 14, And the Lord said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, yep. and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. So the, the, him going upon his belly, that's uh, him living in this flesh, man. And then the dust is the confusion, you know? That's, that's the confusion of, of, of living after the flesh, man. You know? Hey, no, that's a curse to, 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 to live after your desires, man. To, to, to go about your, your, your belly, man. You know? Because at the end of it is death. Be carnally minded is death. Yep. And this ain't nothing but beast. Yeah, this man what is beast? crazy to be in the flesh. It said that in the, uh in Sarat. It said uh uh he said uh I think it was he said man or no that he's just beast. He said that we did it with Nebuchadnezzar. But this wisdom is it, it makes yeah. us uh uh again it's the living it's the uh the same thing Adam received. Yep. Yeah. That the breath, breath of life. the breath of life. The other he is a beast. <laughs> this man Esau is a beast. The lawless man. He's so far against the laws that see the other nation shit. They try to do you know, the the earth wouldn't look like this if they was ruling. You know, you look at like with the Persians and the Medes and stuff. It was nice because although uh, they the were Babylonians, the earth didn't look like this. They the, shit. They had nice shit. Yeah, look, look at like the damn. paintings, man. Like the, right, the, right, the right. ancient paintings. You're right. They, yeah. they, 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 like for lack of words, that shit's on this kingdom, bro. Jake was kind of dressed like him too. Then Jake was, you oh, know, yeah. and Jake was real dressed, Jake and the Babylonians were real dressed. <laughs> You know, no, so this, sure this shit Greek. <laughs> right, right. This, this shit, shit is Greek. Hair. Hair. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's why everything's getting more nude. Right, right, right. Everything's walking around like that. That 
that Edomite version of what they call uh, is supposed to be King David. Why is he fucking ass naked? Like, like what uh, what Elder Malcolm always says, this fucking this man with the baby penis, man. This man with the with the <laughs> it's like what the fuck? Now nah, this is this this is you, man. That's you. That, 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 that's shit, not the, that's not the guy that's mentioned. Uh, that's a warrior in, in in the scriptures, man. Because for one, he wasn't walking around uncovered, and you best believe he they, when the women left the bedchamber, they had something to say about King David. <laughs> See, David said he told men to tarry because they they beard was shaving and their ass was out. Exactly. What the fuck? Y'all got y'all been embarrassed a little bit. <laughs> it's there. But uh, yeah. I think uh, that, that was it. Oh wait, I can a little bit more. Genesis three and fifteen, and I will put enmity between thee Ooh. and the woman, and yeah, between that, thy. That woman represents uh, uh, the nation of Israel because uh, Jeremiah six and two. The Lord um, calls us a, a calmly and delicate woman, all right? Yep, yep. Because because right there, if you keep reading, keep reading with uh, his seed and her seed. Because how does a woman have a seed? She doesn't. So because that right there, that's just symbolic, man. It's meta, uh, speaking in metaphors, man. But it all right? does talk about a woman. Uh, it says she's conceiving seed, or it says she has fruit of the womb. But a woman does not have seed. That's right. God, this is uh, Genesis three and fifteen, and I will put enmity between thee and the woman. And between thy seed and her seed. So that right there proves that it's going to be a generational thing. It's not, it didn't end in the garden. It didn't end with Cain and Abel. All right? It's being played out right now between Esau and Jacob, man. Yep. All right? And it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Um, and then it goes into the woman. Uh, but I'm gonna go back to uh, yeah, yeah, Genesis 35 Genesis, or 27. 27 a lot, yeah. This is uh, Genesis 27. See, a lot happened, man. They don't, I'll say this real quick, man. Book of Genesis is very heavy, man. If you don't have the understanding of Genesis, man, you don't know what the hell is going on. You're right. through. Hey, in order to know right, the right, mystery, right. Uh, you got to know the history, man. Right. Okay. Because yeah, this is a um, this is a, a this is a battle of antiquity. That, that word antiquity goes back to ancient. That's why it's the enmity. That's why it's the kind of uh, disagreeable nature between uh, the so-called black man and the Hispanic man, Native American man, and the white man. Because you don't see that type of same uh, spirit against each other and uh, against the other nations, although they hate us too. But you know, it, it's not. You can see it's something between the, the so-called minorities <laughs> and the so-called Caucasian. Man. You can see it. That's, what, that's goes back to what we're reading in Genesis. And then when Jake and Esau get into it. The heathens just be watching because right. it, it, these are the two main characters battling it out, man. Right. That's right. Especially when it comes to Judah, bro, and Amalek. <laughs> when yeah. Judah and Amalek clash, bro, the whole the whole world is in silence and they, they watch. Start. Yep. <laughs> this is all you see, bro. Because uh, those are the two top tribes, man. Uh, uh, of you got Judah for the, uh, the nation of Israel, and you got Esau, uh, or you got Amalek for the nation of uh, Edom, bro. Think about what happened with like Nick Cannon and shit, you know what I'm saying? You got a Judai saying, you know, X, Y, Z things about, you know, Amalek. All of a sudden, everyone lost their fucking minds, man. They told him, you can't do, no, you can't talk about that. And all he hey, said was true. He understood, he didn't, he didn't, hey, he, he was saying shit that was uh, vulgar or discriminatory, anti-Semite. There's no such thing as anti-Semite, it's Shem, for one. And then it's more than one nation that comes out of Shem. But he didn't say anything but the truth. That's what they had a problem with. You know, because Nick Cannon is not on fucking point. You know, but the, 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 when it comes to rappers and these entertainers, people never get on them for saying or doing the right things. They get on them for saying uh, uh, the, the right things, man. I mean, it, it's like they don't get on them for doing the wicked shit that they actually do. Because they all the wicked shit that they do was talking about killing niggas or, uh, you know, promoting the, 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 the woman. woman. Yeah, put, that's the spirit I was about to say that. Putting the black woman first. They don't never say shit about that shit. Some shit that they wouldn't even prescribe for their own nation because Israel don't they, they ain't with that putting the woman first shit either. But let 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 you say something against these goddamn fucking uh these these little hats, man. <laughs> yeah, cause cause what it is is Esau is all about secrecy, man. Esau is all about secrecy. That's why this truth coming to the forefront is so mind-boggling to the world. Because this nigga didn't lied about everything. Now the truth is coming about coming out. What do they say? The truth is always the most weird. Or something like that to that nature. This was uh, uh, stranger, stranger than fiction. Stranger than yeah. fiction. Yep. This is uh, Genesis 27 and 35. It says, And he said, Thy brother came with subtlety and had taken away thy blessing. 
And he's so what's coming, Esau should have got. He was he should have got the chariots. Being able to go from planet to planet. Being able to never die. According what? to the order of a of a an elder sibling, yes. He was because yeah. that's 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 you know, that, that would have been custom. But the Lord decided to put uh righteousness over custom. Right. You know? And that's really what it was. If he was to hand it to this motherfucker. Oh boy. This was this it would it would be even worse than this. This nigga would be in the Elysium. stars balloon shit. They will do like how they did in the movie was it Elysium, right? Yep. Oh, okay, we destroyed the earth. Well, let's go into a you know into space, right? And let's set up a whole new system, man. Right, yeah, yeah. And what are they gonna do up there? What are they gonna do if they go to Mars and all this other stuff, man? They're gonna do the same damn thing, man. He's always a cancer, man. He's a he's a goddamn virus, man. He's a leech, bro. And that guy can't get really get out of the ozone like that. So guess what? He also had shit like CERN, so he could just try to punch out fucking wormholes and travel to different dimensions. But the Lord won't even let him do that. The Lord's teasing his ass, by the way. He's, yeah, he's look, what, him that look what you could get. Right. But you ain't. When, <laughs> not for you. Not when, for you. When brothers be doing those videos of spiritual powers and the chariots, he be he be salvating over that. But <laughs> we're gonna read here. How it was taken he away from you hell. all the way in the beginning. He mad as hell foaming at the mouth. Ah! Right. Hell no. You, you know, he's all be mad. He probably throws his fucking MacBook and shit. He <laughs> fucking mad as shit. <laughs> Stomping the shit. shit. They watching this right now. It's, it hurts, we you know. But it's been written in this oh, Bible that shit. everybody's had in their hand in their lifetime, man. Let's read it. Genesis 3. <laughs> no, man. Genesis 3 and 36. And he said, it's not he rightly named Jacob. For he has supplanted me these two times, he took away my birthright, and behold, now he have taken away my blessing. Has thou not reserved a blessing for me? And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy lord. What? We're the lord of the Edomites, man. And all his brethren have I given to him for servants, and with corn and wine have I sustained, sustained him. And what shall I do now unto thee, my son? And Esau said unto his father, Has thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. So he cried. This is your forefather. The forefather of the so-called white man. They still do it to this day. They still, when they, yeah, when they get caught red doing something. Yeah, they, they don't get their like, way. Damn. Yeah, I was, they be like, no, I don't try to get away and shit. They do that shit that women do. Uh, to get their way after after they they realize that they can't use their feminine wiles or they can't really keep on persuading you, then they start crying, kicking, and screaming, and and, and try to get basically the public to defend them at that point so that they can get their way. And and women are actually uh, conscious to doing that shit. He saw it is too because he does the same thing. It's like a fucking kid, rage quitting and shit. All right. So we only got ten percent. Got a little time, but start wrapping it up. Uh, this is uh, Genesis 27. Genesis 27 and 40. My, my phone's fucked up, bro. I gotta get a new phone. And by thy sword shalt thou live and shall serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. You see? So we're living. We're, we're living. We, that was what? When he came back into power? Yeah. We ruled over him for a thousand years. All right. Ten toes again. Yeah, Revelation 20, then he came back in power through the, the Renaissance, which means rebirth of Esau. That's prophecy. I will build again and, you know what I'm saying? So everything, now we're in the end of it where it says Esau's the end of the world. Now we're in the end of it where it says what? Well, I'm going to, uh, I have, uh, what does it say? I have uh, prepared an evil for this family, which they shall not remove their necks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Micah. Yeah, we're living in that time. That evil time has come. Your judgment, man. Yep. That's why the, the world is, is chaotically ending and everybody's bugged out. We're going to war with all these nations. That's prophecy. Yep. Everything that's happening is in this book. And the, the, and the Lord been telling the, the world on the highways and byways, man. You see? We're in the end of the Edomite, the so-called white man's world. And the, and the transitioning into what? The beginning of Jacob's. Hey, what does it say? It was in the Matrix. It talks about yep. the inevitability. Yep, yep. It was in Mr. Smith. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That, that's basically what's happening. It's inevitable, man. You find the inevitable. It's gonna happen. Right. You, you, you. There's gonna be that fucking final fight between, hey, the Israelites versus the the Edomites. Okay. You gotta have, you know, Yahweh Shai is that 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 leader in the forefront. Yep. Okay, our King and our Savior. Not, not my will, but dying will be done. Yep. And we, hey, we have to submit to certain things. Uh, 
understand that we can't we couldn't force the course. We can't take this man down with our own arms. We had to go into slavery. We couldn't fight it. Because if he did, it was still gonna fucking happen. You kicking against the pricks. The same as this man can't fight that his kingdom's going down. Uh, I, I got two of them. Real quick. They probably try to wrap it up because like I said, I only got ten percent. Okay, I just get to the point on this one. This is Exodus. I mean no, I mean we got a little bit of time, but just 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 read what you got on. Yeah, this is Exodus 17. Uh, verse 13, it says, And Joshua discomfited Amalek and his people Ooh. with the edge of the sword. And the Lord said unto Moses, Write this for a memorial in a book, mm. and rehearse it in the ears of Joshua, for I will utterly put out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. Yeah, exactly. So the Lord is going to exterminate you. It wasn't in that time period. We didn't say anything about this time period. Right. So, hey, it, it's going to happen at some point, man. They will talk about it in the book of Isaiah. They, they're going to have no root, no branch. Yep, yep. Talking about your seed line, okay? And they, if, if there's no root in the tree, that means going that tree's going to die. Yep. It talks about you. It talks about the men getting cut off. Hey, the, the the sons, the fathers, the nephews. There should not be any remaining yep. of the house of Esau. Yep. In the, in the, in the book of Obadiah. Years. And it's the beginning of it. You no. Edomites here in America, you gonna get the worst. You're gonna you have the worst beginning. <laughs> you Edomites here in America. You have the Shit. worst beginning to your captivity to us. The, the, the fire. Your one day one gonna feel like a thousand years. Man. It's, <laughs> that's why they so fucking proud, man. I see why they, they're they the ones here in America. What, more proud, more stout than his fellow? Yeah. You the much here in America, man. That's what, <laughs> the Lord's worst destruction is about to come, come upon you, man. And it says that Moses built an alt altar and called it the name of it Yahweh Nasai. Well, he said, because the Lord has sworn that the Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation, and, right. and up until now, now is the time of the end of all that war, with the with the with the final war. Uh, this is Proverbs 16 and 4. It says, the Lord has made all things for Himself, yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil, for the time of the end. This man is is, is the destroyer, man. Like he he was created to destroy until he gets destroyed. You know, he was a sword until that sword that that sword is broken, that hammer is broken. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination unto the, to the Lord Yahweh. Though hand joined in hand, he shall not be punished. Like we were talking about, even though Jake is down with this man, hey, that's not going to stop this, 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 the will of the Lord being performed. Nothing can stop the will of the Yahweh by some Yahweh shot. All right? It says, by mercy and truth, inequity is purged. Because this truth is coming out, and he don't like it. It's, it's cleansing this this place, man, right. and it's yeah. bringing it down. These the prophecies that we speak, the spirit of Yahweh Shai is, is is bringing this place down, man. And it says, uh, and by fear of the Lord Yahweh, men depart from evil. And, and this man is his power is evil. His power is evil. So if the elect is turning from evil, this man is losing power. That's right. And that's his whole power, secrecy and control over the Israelite spirit and mind. And now, what is the scripture says? We shall no more stay upon him this morning. Yep. It's over with, man. Yeah, man. See it, the man. word stay goes in the trust. We don't trust. We don't trust. <laughs> we go around here to eat him out. We don't trust yeah. you. We don't like you. We know not to like you, though. We look Just like you know not to like us. We look at you. Look, at, Come on, look at them like how they unlock the doors. Wait, when oh, yeah. Jake. Yeah. Like, go get near me. You eat him out. <laughs> right, yeah. They're like, why do you lock the door? Can't trust you. And not saying you would go around like that, but <laughs> so Jake understands, because you still got to be subtle, you know. But you should have that in your mindset that you, you hey, never trust thine enemy, right? You know, right? That's that's all I am. Kind of, kind of, so Lord willing, that was an edifying lesson. We want to end it by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakhash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to Akim across the world, pushing his word and truth. Sincerity with you. Shalom and a Bible ball. Shalom and a Bible ball.